We're already deep in conversation about this one. You guys are going to love it because I am here now with fashion designer, businesswoman, philanthropist, Tori Birch, the one and only. She is joining us this morning to celebrate the new edition of a classic design book, What Shall I Wear, by Claire McArdle, including a new forward written by Tori herself. I'm so glad you're here to talk to us about this. Thanks so much for coming in. I was just telling you, I, I had never heard of her, and I think a lot of folks probably haven't, and you are teaching us so many things about our own history in this country, about women and dressing, and, and it was published back in 19, I'll make sure I get this right, 56, right? And it's been out of publication for so many years, but this pretty, was a labor of love. Since. You really wanted to get this out there. It was a labor of love, and I'm not surprised you haven't heard of her, and that's part of the issue. A lot of women have been forgotten throughout history, and she's one of them, and she's had massive impact on women, far beyond fashion. She really has, and some of the things that you talk about, just getting dressed this morning, thinking about her impact on on American dressing and, and just being a woman. She said, if the shoe's uncomfortable, give it away, don't wear it. <laughs> Isn't that the best? Uh, yeah, I wanna give, give away all the, all the heels now. But what was it about her and, and some of the things that she, she did in design that inspired you to do this? Well, I mean, first of all, I love the way she was a feminist, embraced women's empowerment. In the 40s, that was quite radical, so she, gave women a sense of freedom and individuality. She wanted women to dress for themselves, not for their boyfriend or husband. Um, many of her ideas were unheard of back then, but so part of today and sh as relevant 75 years later. Including, you were saying what you're wearing this yes. morning, the stitching on I that, I wore right? this dress because she not only was the first woman to put zippers on a dress, pockets, she got rid of corsets, but even taking menswear details like pick stitching. I mean, getting rid of corsets alone <laughs> is enough to cement her in the, in the history books. <laughs> I know, exactly. But she also really understood a woman's body and knew how to make women feel confident, beautiful, worth it, made dresses that were incredibly flattering. And have you incorporated any of her design techniques into your own clothing? I mean, interestingly, during the pandemic, I had time to think about the essence of what inspired me personally. And I really thought about her. I hadn't thought about her since college. And she, in a way, has come into my life in many ways. Ballet flats, I redid ballet flats when I first started the company. She was one of the first women to modernize ballet flats. Just when you think about all of those things that you listed and how much of a staple they are in our wardrobe, zippers, buttons, clasps. I mean, she's just legendary, and, so institutional. And she broke the rules, and that's something I love. I think when I think about women's empowerment and we have a foundation that, that really focuses on that, she was the first woman to really stand up for women, and, and that's what I love about her as well. And part of that, I was reading, is in her business and the entrepreneurial side of what she did, too. She was the first, told me, the, the first woman to put her name in her clothes. On a label. On a label, not just the, not just the manufacturer. It, it was amazing, and she was never looking at Couture and Paris. People were, from Paris were looking at her, and she had a dress that was $15 at the time. What do you hope women who, like me, might be learning about Claire's story for the first time take away from this? I think it's important to know that you can beat to your own drum, break the mold, and I think that's what she did, and she set the stage for years and years of women to be able to do that. There's a lesson, I think, to be learned even today in dressing and designing today, something you still incorporate when you think about clothing now? Yeah, I mean, be your own person, dress for yourself, be creative, and, and think about confidence. And that's, when, I'm, when a woman tells me they feel confident in our collection, it's the best compliment. And you have your, uh, your foundation as well. You mentioned it. You're so, uh, being um, a, a leader for women and inspiring women into this business is so important to you as well. Yeah, in every business. We focus on women in business, all businesses, and I think that women are a great investment. The fact that we're having an issue with women being able to get the proper funding they need is, is horrific because at the end of the day, they're amazing for the economy. Tori Birch, thank you so much. Thank you. You can throw thank away the you. heels if they're not comfortable, right? <laughs> get rid of, if the shoes aren't comfortable, get rid of get them. Get rid of them. All right, What Shall I Wear is available right now, everyone. You're going to want to see, read this one. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.